A giant rift is tearing Africa apart. Yes, you heard that correctly. In an unprecedented display of Earth's might, a colossal crack stretching several kilometers is forming, gradually splitting the second largest continent into two. But wait, there's more. As we speak, something extraordinary is happening. Africa is giving birth to a brand new ocean right before our very eyes. What's causing this breakup in Africa and how long will it take for the continent to disintegrate into smaller pieces? What will happen to the the world we know after Africa splits. Join us as we provide answers to all these questions and many more surrounding this terrifying discovery. In the scorching heart of East Africa's afar region, amidst a relentless desert expanse, you can find yourself standing on the exact spot where, deep underground, the continent is undergoing a momentous splitting. A video showing the emergence of a huge crack in Kenya's Rift Valley went viral in 2018 and sparked immense concern over the possible separation of the country. The crack, spanning 20 meters wide and 15 meters deep was attributed to tectonic activity occurring in the region. However, it was no cause for alarm, considering the Rift Valley earned its name due to the frequent occurrence of rifting activities. Though that particular incidence was very odd, it was not unusual for cracks to emerge in the area due to more localized events such as erosions. The impeding continental split has to do with the East African Rift System, a geological feature with two branches extending approximately 3,000 kilometers in length. From the Afar region of Ethiopia in the north to Mozambique in the south. This formation separates countries like Somalia, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Mozambique, Djibouti, Kenya, and Tanzania from the rest of Africa. It is a divergent plate boundary where the African tectonic plate is slowly splitting into two separate plates, the Somali plate to the east and the Nubian plate to the west. This process is known as continental rifting, and it is believed to be an early stage in the formation of a new ocean basin. But what is rifting and why does it happen? Rifting refers to the geological process of the lithosphere, which is the Earth's outermost layer, splitting apart and creating a rift or gap. It occurs primarily in tectonic plate boundaries where the lithosphere is subjected to tensional forces, stretched and thinned, causing it to fracture and separate. This phenomenon is often accompanied by volcanic activity, as magma from the Earth's mantle rises to the surface through the fractures. Over time, it can result in the complete separation of tectonic plates, leading to the rise of a new ocean. A significant rift that occurred is the East African rift system, which can be traced back as far as 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period when South America and Africa were divided into different continents. It is characterized by a series of rift valleys, which are deep, elongated depressions on the Earth's surface, bordered by steep walls or escarpments. Some of the well-known rift valleys include the Red Sea Rift, the Gulf of Aden Rift, the Ethiopian Rift Valley, the Albertine Rift, and the Malawi Rift. The East African rift system is geologically active, with free frequent volcanic activity and earthquakes arising along its length. It is home to several active volcanoes, including Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Niragongo, and Mount Meru, among others. It has also given rise to several large lakes, which are situated along the rift valleys. Some of the notable lakes include Lake Tanganyika, Lake Malawi, Lake Victoria, Lake Turkana, and Lake Albert. These lakes are deep and have unique ecosystems, supporting a rich diversity of plant and animal species. Collectively, such geological features support the theory of continental splitting and the ongoing rifting process in Africa. Perhaps the most apparent evidence, for now, is a 35-mile-long crack in the Ethiopian desert, discovered in 2005. Scientists have been researching the tectonic fate of the African continent for several decades. Recent advancements in satellite technology are helping them better understand the transition and are offering valuable tools to study the gradual birth of a new ocean in one of the most geologically unique spots on the planet. GPS instruments have also revolutionized this field of research, allowing scientists to make precise measurements of the rates of ground movements down to a few millimeters per year. For the past 30 million years, the Arabian Plate has been moving away from Africa, which led to the creation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden between the two connected landmasses. But the Somali Plate in eastern Africa also stretches away from the Nubian Plate, peeling apart along the East African Rift Valley. In fact, these three plates are separating at different speeds. The Arabian Plate is gradually distancing itself from Africa at a rate of about one inch per year. While the two African plates are separating even slower, 
between half an inch to 0.2 inches per year. How does all this affect Africa's future? Well, uncertainty surrounds the direction of tectonic activity in the Afar area, including when and if the region will transform into an oceanic spreading center. It is also unclear whether a new ocean basin will form between the Somali and Nubian plates, and how spreading in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden will proceed. These topics are currently far from being resolved. According to one model, in approximately 5 million years, the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will no longer exist as the Somali and Nubian plates collide with Arabia, resulting in the fusion of the three plates. At this momentous stage of our expedition, for those of you who have been contemplating the division of Africa, the time has come to put your concerns to rest, as I am about to reveal the answer you seek. After careful research, it has been determined that Africa will not experience a complete split for another 5 to 10 million years. Although the idea of a divided African continent and the emergence of a new ocean holds great Great potential. This transformative event is still far in the future, as suggested by scientific findings. What implications will the formation of the world's sixth ocean have? What new wonders will it reveal? And what potential risks might it introduce? Such a massive change in Earth's physical landscape will inevitably bring with it an array of opportunities and challenges. The creation of a new ocean could lead to increased maritime activities, trade, and economic growth in the region. It would also provide humans with a wide range of natural natural resources. However, this geological phenomenon poses substantial difficulties in terms of infrastructure and human settlement, especially in areas along the rift. Biodiversity would be greatly affected, as the intricate web of life undergoes significant alterations due to the monumental geographical shift. As the landscape changes, new ecosystems will arise, providing opportunities for evolutionary adaptation and the development of marine and coastal life. This could lead to the emergence of new species adapted to these fresh environments, contributing to Earth's biodiversity. On the other hand, climate shifts and landform variations may force certain species to migrate or face extinction. Dramatic events like sudden faults causing the splitting of a highway as seen in viral photographs can give a sense of urgency regarding continental rifting. However, it is worth noting that this process is typically very slow, often taking place over millions of years, and it usually goes unnoticed as Africa gradually splits apart. The separation of East Africa will simply be another chapter in the extensive geological storybook. Who knows whether humanity will be around to witness these changes? Nonetheless, discussing the possibilities of the future holds significance, as the African splitting may occur sooner than anticipated by humans. So, there you have it. The splitting of the African continent and the formation of a new ocean served as a stark reminder that hidden mysteries and possible dangers can lurk beneath even the most breathtaking locations of Earth. As the East African rift continues to widen, it will reshape the geography, ecosystems, and societies in the region, presenting a mix of challenges and opportunities in the face of this geological upheaval. All in all, the story of Africa's division offers a fascinating glimpse of what lies ahead, highlighting the magnitude of Earth's transformative power that dictates our collective destiny. What are we expecting in the future? Will it have a significant impact on our planet's climate? Will it risk our existence? These are the questions that keep us up at night, but only time will reveal the answers, and all we can do is await and observe. In your opinion, do you think Africa splitting into two will be beneficial or rather hazardous? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.